I'm thinking I'm going to put down some crack just in hopes that I get a good card to put with crack. That's just such a bad picture. <laughs> Well, what is up, everybody? That's right, it's Bloodstalker. And as promised, I'm going to be bringing you guys, once every couple of weeks, free games that are on Steam. Ones that I look at, I play, I deem worthy and fun. It's something to try out. Now, the the Trailer Park Boys, the way that game works is, it's I wanted to show you guys from the beginning because you can do more stuff in the beginning. Once you get in the, in the game, it takes... You, you have to come back every so many hours or whatnot. So it's still a fun game to play, but it does get drawn out. Now this little beauty I just found, and it's actually been out for a while. This came out on Steam in May of 2017. Yes, that is correct. May 5th, to be precise. And this is brought by brought to you by Synapsis Games, Chinzilla, and is published by Congret. Now Congret is who you sign up through to link your accounts and whatnot. Now this is available on mobile as well as PC. Um, mobile is a little different. You can actually watch videos to double your loot and stuff like that. You get all those little perks, things like that. On here you don't. Um, you, you're, it's still a fun game and from my experience I've been playing for probably several probably about a week now I'm already level 10 I'm already pretty high up in the arena rankings and just I've I picked I've just made an awesome deck that's just how it is now how I got this game was I was given a key for I, one of the little starter packages of it I downloaded that and since then I've been able to gather up a bunch of other stuff now I've got a really good deck pretty strong one on here on my P on my um, mobile it's not as good because I, I had to you know I'm starting from scratch on it so what you see here is not a true representation representation of starting off just free all the get all together you can eventually though climb up and get good cards in this game it's a, it's just like any other game you just grind and play play at your own convenience don't worry about things just have a blast doing it now if you ever played Magic the Gathering this is similar to it and that's why I like this game I'm a big Magic the Gathering fan I actually have a Magic the Gathering account online. I, I got rid of all my real cards. I had to sell them time for tough one day, and I sold all my cards for a couple thousand dollars, and I kept out two decks that are very important to me, and they're EDH decks. If you know what that means, we can have more of a discussion of Magic the Gathering, but I'm not going to go into it because I don't think you got it. It's kind of boring. If you're not into it, it's boring. So let's just, let's just get into this. So what you have here is is a freemium game. It's pay to play basically in some senses. However, what's different from this and most other freemium pay to play games is the fact that number one, you can actually play this game and enjoy it without spending a dime. Legitimately. You have a quest system so you can earn things each day. Um, these are just the main quests right here. But each day you get a couple of daily quests to complete and whatnot. As you complete them you'll earn rewards such as experience, card packs, whatnot. These are rare card packs. These are just general, or these are epic they're blue these are epic as well that's a legendary card pack by the way and those give you legendary cards so it's something to work up for it is a challenging game the further you get along in the adventure mode so what you have is you have challenges you have a research center a deck a rumble which I have yet to participate in they haven't had one since I started a shop get rid of that bar this is where you can buy and like I said this is where you pay to play it's just like any other free game that's out there they gotta make a dollar somehow and this is how they do it so you have all these packages now you can go to the shop under cards go over here to the very far right and you can buy basic packs of cards they'll give you some basics and every once in a while you might get a rare or epic very rarely <laughs> kind of funny isn't it so anyway that's one way of getting cards now the other way of getting cards of course is through your actual come on actual adventure mode during your adventure mode you have multiple levels to play on so see you have tier one tier two like bronze silver gold I don't know what you even call that, like premium. And by beating it all three times, toad looking. Anyway, by beating it all three times, you'll earn these cards. And this is one way to get them. So you get four. The, the bronze is always four, ba uh, four commons. The level two is always two um, rares. Uh, not rares. Yeah, these are rares. And then you get the two epics, one epic for each level after that. And this is a good way to get some cards, especially if you got a specific deck. Now, when you first start playing the game, you pick your character, your main character you want to go by. This is not one of them. In the beginning, you can play, you can either pick, I think, Roger, Brian, I know, Roger, Peter. I think these guys right here, actually, these four. Anyway, you, 
the, basically the cards represent all the animation game shows out there except Simpsons, which I kind of thought was weird. So I don't know. But you've got Bob's Burger, you've got King of the Hill, you got American Dad, Family Guy, and Futurama. So you got all the characters from them. Now once you pick who based on who you pick is your your person. So if you pick a person from Bob's Burger, I think it's the dad maybe, then you'll play you'll start out with a deck primarily comply pri or primarily comprised of Bob's Burger's cards. You'll also have some common cards in there that are that are just animation throwdown cards such as like I'll show you real quick. Get out of that. Let's just take a look, because I'm going to help you guys. If you want to play this, I'm going to I'm going to teach you the way to do it right off the bat. Because I didn't know these things, I had to learn the hard way. And it has taken me time to figure it out. Now here's where you look at your deck. I encourage you to turn auto deck off, unless you just don't know what to do at first, and then put it in there. Now I do have a mythic card. I just unlocked it because I earned enough fragments, and it's Leela. Now I was going to show you this, guys. You got to have 5,000 coins to craft it. I have not crafted it yet because I haven't gotten it yet. Which we're going to get to because I want to do that. I've never done it. I want to see what it looks like. Now how I got these, we'll get into that next. Let's just talk the basics here. These are your just common cards. When you click on it, it tells you down here what set it's from. This is just a generic animation throwdown. So you can basically cast this as a combo on any card. Now when I say that, you click on combos. These are the ones I know. So I can put it on Klaus. I can put it on Bullock. I can put it on Haley, I can put it on Klaus again as a different color, or a rare instead of an epic up here, and Steve and so forth. Now these are generic cards. You're not getting the true power of what you can do. The best thing ultimately to do, let's get out of Mythics, is to go by what your set is. You play an American Dad, then you pick only American Dad cards. And now the thing is, when you start out, you don't know these combos. It's like Golden Turd, I have no combos for it. Well I have one now, take that back. Old Steve kind of nice look at him and Steve is a common card so by using that it turns him into a rare and turns that downgrades that but these are their benefits we'll talk about that too so these like costumes and generic so my deck still has some generic cards in it I'm working towards putting all American dad cards as you can see so like this card right here has a combo I've got three people I've learned for it I've got nude painting bullock Michael Dangelo <laughs> so wrong and then I've got Steve crossing the Alps. Now, if you notice, these are actual scenes from the shows. If you ever watched any of them, I'm not. I've never really watched a lot of Bob's Burger. I watched a lot of King of the Hill, Futurama. Not any of the newer Futurama since they brought it back, but American Dad and Family Guy. I know them all, so all these I recognize these as scenes from the show. It's hilarious. But anyway, this right here, this combination by using this card with Steve, you can also do the same thing with a generic art cost or art card. So basically, the same thing. Now, the reason I say learn it, because you want to learn that combo for these specific characters, because they give benefits. Now, these are my, this is my deck right now. The weakest link I have, pretty much, is this crap right here. That's costumes and the alcohol. In order to get that up, I need to replace them with Roger's Place, which I need more of. And then for the costumes, I believe it's Pizza Overlord. I can't remember. It's one of these that give them, a, it's not the school, it's education. It's one of them will give them a costume. Steve's Toys, I swear. So that's how you want to kind of make your deck. Now there is Crack. Dude, Crack is awesome, dude. In the game. In the game. I've comboed it with everybody. So you've got Junk Food Kloss in epic form. You've got Responsible Cocaine User Bullock. <laughs> For real. Dude, that's an awesome card. Don't knock it. you got Crack Addicted Stan. you got High Legman. That one's awesome. Then you got the, the epic, the rare version of it. Withdrawal Steve. Blueberry Picker, I don't know why I did that, and I messed up and fused the wrong cards. Now how you do this, see each card has a combo and a specific combo you can throw down. These are your main player cards. Keep going now, I guess we're all down at the bottom, gee, many Christmas, keep going, oh my, there we go. So there's Space Queen Haley, that's by putting a costume on it, or this card right here. Which is, well we can't figure that one out, never mind. So anyway, you see my point. These are your player cards. These are support cards in a sense. Now how you tell, I don't know. I have yet to figure that out. Just by knowing that they're not a main character in the game. Now I've got, actually got two Rogers. I got lucky. I got lucky. When I bought my first, when I bought the first pack, I got him. And then I had enough coins and or, um, enough gems from that same purchase pack I got, the little starter pack I got, that I drew a pack and I drew his butt. Then I had more left over. I had some golden turds and I ended up buying, I ended up getting him, drawing him out of a pack. So I got lucky. Because really, list, realistically, let's just do this right here. Clear. 
Let's just look at what I got total. See, I, this is the only one I've drawn. I've drawn that did not go with a deck that I'm making already. And that is from Bob's Burgers. I'll probably never use that card. Now, the other thing is, when you want to upgrade your cards, see that little number up there? That's how you do your upgrades. Let's clear the filters. Go back to American Dad. Or not Family Guy. So far, I've only played with American Dad and Family Guy decks. I've gone up against some pretty badass King of the Hill decks. Futurama and Burt Bob's Burger, too, though. So they're all balanced and all have their ability. They're all pretty damn good. Now this is an awesome card too. This combos with a lot of stuff too I'm working on. You got record holder stand, <laughs> checks limit. <laughs> that one's awesome right there. That is just awesome. All right, anyway. Now how you upgrade cards. So say for instance, we want to upgrade pantry guns. You just click on this. You can either do it at a time, but the, the common cards take less as they go up in value, like rare, epic, legendary, etc. The cost to upgrade them goes up. Now you can max it out level 3. So now then I can take it a step further and fuse it with another level 3 card maxed out at that tier. And so forth. Now I can't upgrade it all the way, but I can still do it. Now if you notice, these, this guy right here is already fused with another one and maxed out. So he's got a higher stats. This guy doesn't. See, so he's like a level 1. So you can basically stack cards. You can only, I usually keep 25 cards in my deck. The, I wouldn't go over 25, there's no sense. The matches don't last, but maybe five or six turns. That's the love. That's the one thing I do like about this too. They go quickly. Um, it's all about getting your com your big players out and your combos out. So you want to have all good cards. You pretty much want to get to the point where you don't have a single common in your deck at all, in my opinion. Um, in this one, I would keep Bullock because he has so many freaking combos. Look, Bullock actually has good combos. Come on, that one sucks. That one does too. Come on. I swear to God, I wish they had an easier way of doing this. So Drunk Bullock's awesome. Then you have... We've already talked about him. Responsible Cocaine User Bullock. <laughs> My favorite, though, is Weapon. There's Secret Asian Man. Then you've got Hover Throne King. There's your Nude Paving a Bullock. Come on. you got Furry Bullock. That one's just creepy. Then, of course, you've got Finger Cutter. This one's awesome. <laughs> I just love that. That was my favorite episode. So anyway, that's how you basically level up and power up your cards. Now, I encourage you to focus on one set. You can mul you can mingle against them. Now, the reason I don't do it, and uh, this is why I suggest not doing it, is you get a benefit for playing all American Dad or all of one set. Now, he doesn't. I'm lucky enough that I got Zap Brannigan. I drew him. I don't know how the hell I got him. I got him in the arena fighting. I got dumb lucked in the draw because there's a percentage chance of earning and unlocking heroes random like that. So I unlock Zap Brannigan. Now, normally, see, he's a Futurama person. It would say, increases attack of all other Futurama cards. But because he's so high level, it doesn't. And see, even at his lower level, he's not. Now, I'm waiting to unlock old bad boy Stewie. I think it's him I'm about to get. No, it's not. I might have to unlock Brian, I think, next. Stewie, however, has got a max health of 72, and he's already level 3. I just got to get that dude. Dude, it sucks. All right. Moving along on that. So now you kind of get the idea of cards. You pick a main character. He gives benefits. We probably need to go back. So, like, Roger will give payback 1, deals 1 damage to any card that attacks this, if this card survives. So if it, the, another enemy card attacks your card, they automatically deal 1 damage back. Cheer 1 increases attack of another random card. Now, some of these, based on their character, will say only those sets. What that really applies to, though, is in the combos and in the abilities of the characters that you're playing with. So, I mean, I used to use Peter a lot. He's not bad, but you can't beat Zap because of his health. That dude's got 30, 33. Zap's got 38. That's just a lot more alive. All right. So this is your basic cards. Now, you can also recycle them if you get too many. You can only hold so many in your inventory. You've got to keep that in mind. I've got 162 out of 250. Now you can just drag them up here, hit the recycle button, and it'll recycle it for its value. Because that one's maxed out, it's going to give me more. Like a, a epic will give you that one. Yeah, will give me a fifty. But I don't really encourage doing this unless you just you have too many of a card you're never probably going to use. Especially the commons, I would just get rid of them all day. Now you can also draw these gigawatts in packs and be able to get more. All right, let's get back out of this part real quick. I feel like I'm just running my mouth there thing. Now, how you get those combos on those cards, like I said, when you first start the game, you're going to start knowing some combos, okay? It's very simplistic and very easy to do. You just merge cards. So right now, I've got Stan and Pearl Bailey High School going. 
have no power ups. You can get time boosts and stuff. You can buy them. I, I just don't. I mean, I just let it run its time. I can wait. I'm old. I'm not going anywhere. So this one's going Roger and Stan's SUV. So I'm making this as a combo. Now the purpose of this is I'm trying to get out of the common cards. Now when you do a combo, like I said, you don't know what it's going to make until after the fact. You do know that the cards will combo because when you go to put it up here, you have two signs over here. You put one card on the left or right, and then it tells you the ones it can, it can basically mate with. And it can be other non-American Dad or any other set cards. And they all do something special. But, like I said, the whole purpose of that, though, is playing with the same color. So, for instance, let's look at somebody who's really badass. So we've got Crack, okay? It's an addicted card. Drugs. So any other cards that contain drugs or whatnot will probably produce the same combo effect. You understand that? that ma that's why that, that plays important. So I could actually get the same combo off of using different cards. So I could use Crack with... I could use Drugs with Bullock and get that. I could use Drugs with Klaus and get that and so forth. Now each card, once they get powered up and leveled up, they have abilities. Like this one's Cripple 1. Reduces attack of a random enemy card for a turn. So basically it knocks that number down. Gas 2. Enemy card takes an additional 2 damage after their each turn. So these can get pretty powerful, and that's where, I'm, that's where the game gets fun. Now I'll show you what it looks like fighting here in a second. There's all different types of effects and, and things that they can have. Now, they also have an arena. Like I said, they've got an adventure mode. They've got the challenges. The challenges are quite fun. I encourage you to do these because whether once you get to the point where you can't win anymore, just kind of chill out, maybe get, get positive again, because when you lose, you lose trophies. Like right now, this one's going to be up in 22 hours. I'm ranked 28,000. This is what I'm going to win. I'm going to get 5,000 coins, 10 of those. These are legendary shards. Once you get 1,000 of them, you can make a legendary card. I'm going to get 650 Wharf Wonders, and I'm going to get 750 Epic Stones. So you're going to get all that just for playing in this. That's the beauty of it. It takes a while for stuff to regen back, but you're like your little tickets you can use. But they do these events constantly. As you can see right now, there's two going on. When I first started playing it, there was three, and I didn't realize the importance of it. I played in a couple of them, and I won very low award, rewards, but I won something. The same can be said for the arena. You actually have a timing on it. You can do all sorts of fun stuff. It's like right now, I'm still not ranked because I have not participated in it, I don't think. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't fought in this. So, the rewards you get based on what your live, level is. So, like this one is for tier, this is the lowest tier. So if you just fight a little bit, you'll be able to at least get something each time in the, in the arena. And they last three days, so every three days an arena is going on. Now, I've got my rewards off the last re uh, arena. I don't know it's not there. Hold on. we got to get out of here first. And what they do is they just send them to you in the, in the game. Like, here's my little mail message. Mystery box visual error. See, in, just like any other games, they give you stuff like this. I'll, I'll claim that. It's got free twenty. So you get free stuff. Even like most mobile games will give you free stuff like this, but this one actually gives you a lot of free stuff too, which I'm really shocked. So my last reward is I get fifteen random tokens. I don't know what those are, but cards maybe. Five thousand coins, twenty-five legendary, and one hundred and fifty power ones. So let's do this. Now the power epics are pretty neat too. Oh, those are random boss coins. So I got. Oh, Peter's now level fifth, level four. We're about to check Peter out. And there you go. And that's how you get your rewards and everything else in the game. Now again, this is available on mobile and on on the on Steam. You can't link your accounts though. I will say this much. If you play this on mobile, it will drain your battery dead fast if you get stuck into it. And you can get drawn in. You can easily sit down and play this game for a couple of hours and be tired of it before you run out of like arena energy, adventure energy, or challenge stuff, or even messing with your deck and stuff. It's insane. All right, now we can do our mythic. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. I've never had a mythic. This is going to be interesting. So we're going to get Leela. I'm going to use Leela regardless because of her abilities. Look at this. She's got an eight motivate, so cards next to her get an extra eight attack. She does 10 points to a random enemy card right before she attacks. So she's going to do 10 points and then 18 on top of that. It's insane. She's got cripple all six. Now this does cripple all. Reduces attack of all enemy cards by six. That right there is beastly. You put that card into play, that's pretty much going to win you the game. Of course I'm going to play with it. Let's craft this sucker up. I'm kind of excited. Our first mythic card. Check that out. Leela, you're awesome. Leela, get in the deck. 
obviously. Oh, that's jacked up. We can't even use her now. Upgrade. Why can't I? So you have to upgrade her with money? Oh, we need more fragments to upgrade her. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so is she in my inventory now? There she is. Okay. <laughs> I was getting kind of nervous there. And this... And she's not even leveled up. She's not even leveled up. It's insane. Let's get that out of there. Alright, so that's our deck now. It's pretty cool. Now let's get into a fight real quick and I'll show you what battle and combat's like. We'll fight in the arena, I guess. We, have, we need to at least get some arena wins in there. Alright, we're going up against Bender. So this is your chance. Now on the mobile version, like I said, you can watch videos and this increases this benefit. But, here's the thing. I didn't even mention this before we start fighting. I joined a guild because there's a thing called a siege going on. These are sieges down here. Starts in one day and 22. So in, in two days, we'll start fighting. I don't know. I guess we can start fighting now, can't we? I don't understand how this works. Um, let's go up to the top island. Yeah, I guess we can't attack yet. So we'll start fighting in, yeah, two days. But I joined a guild. Now, the benefits of a guild are pretty nice. I'll show you. Oh, no, get out of the quest. And click happy, what can I say? I'm part of the Crazy Eights. Pretty cool. Um, they're not, they're ranked pretty good. I'm one of the lower level guys in here. Some of these guys are pretty beastly. Where am I at? See, I'm like down, there I am. I'm way down here. But the thing about them is you get perks. Earn 5% more arena coins. Have 5 or more active members. So here's all your benefits for all your stuff. And that's pretty cool because they're getting almost everything except for that one. So every time I fight in the arena, I get 40% 40, 40 more coins, which is pretty pretty, pretty bonus. All right, let's get into a fight so you can see what the combat looks like. It's pretty interesting. Like I said, I'm going to take it off the fast mode because right now I've got it on that. Help my cheating unit malfunction or whatever. There we go. So, I usually play on level on speed of 4 because I just blow through them. But this is the normal speed of I have the sound turned off because just like just like freaking um, Charlie Park Boys, you can't adjust it. So it's either blaring or not. So I just went ahead and turned it off in the beginning. Alright, now these cards right here, these are called legendary it's a legendary, but they're called they're power cards. You know they're power cards because of that symbol right there. These cannot be comboed with anything. They are their own combo basically. They're basically a permanent combo that you don't even have to make. And this one's Super Module Ro Supermodel Roger. That's right. Now, her abilities are crazed. Five, so she gains five attack after dealing damage permanently. Just keep stacking. She does seven gas attack, means it takes additional seven damage, and she recovers seven health whenever I play a combo. Now this has to happen whenever I play a combo. Now some of the cards will say whenever Ameri you play an American Dad combo or something. So you got to keep that in mind. All right. Now then I also get one health back. I get cheered for everybody, and I get he does one punch damage to everybody. So it's kind of I mean it's, it's a pretty you looking at it you're like oh this would just be an awesome deck. It's really not really that great. It's okay. It's subpar. Alright, so who do we want to put? So we can do... I don't have that. See? Don't have that research yet, so I can't do it. We can put Crack on Klaus. Or we can put Klaus in the SUV. Which I like this combo. Now some characters will have better combos with other... They'll, have, they'll blend well with the other cards. You gotta watch that and learn which ones to use. Like Crack, to me, works the best on Stan or on Bullock. Wow, this I'm, I haven't played this slow in a long time. Let's kind of give her a little pump up. We'll do it two times. So they just comboed a card, made Rambo Lewis or Lois. So now we've got Klaus, we've got Haley. I'm thinking I'm gonna put down some crack just in hopes that I get a good card to put with crack. That's just such a bad picture. <laughs> All right, sorry, my recording stopped for some reason. So, oh, we got Stan. There we go. Crack Attic Stan. Now look, he gets five brick walls. He gets three of the monkeys and six gas. Now we know what the monkey and gas does. The brick wall prevents five damage. Blocks five attack. So if anybody tries to hit him, it'll block five of it and he'll hit. Now how damage is played? When you play your cards like this, they match one to one. So if there's no card there, none of these guys can block him. And just same vice versa for me. Now, 25 damage Look at that. Just killed him. So, say for instance, they had a card that could block 25 damage, and I did 25 damage. Their main character, their, their, their person who's playing the cards wouldn't take any damage, but their card would die. However, since that card only had like five or six, 
all that overflow damage goes right to them. So, you can have a really awesome deck, but if someone just starts out playing you card-wise and gets out ahead of you, you're pretty much screwed. That's something to keep in mind and remember. Alright, so we got 4,000. Okay. Let's just back out of here real quick. So that's pretty much this game in a nutshell. For a free game, it's really good. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I have fun. I like card games. And when I say I like card games, I like fun card games. I'm not a Pokemon person. I'm not a Yu-Gi-Oh! or whatever it's called. I've played a lot of different varieties of card games in hopes of trying to find something like Magic the Gathering. This is the closest game I've ever found and most entertaining. Not to mention the fact that it's all the shows that are funny and awesome to watch. So, it is for free on Steam. Go check it out. Don't pay a dime. Play the game, have fun with it, and kick ass. Now, if you want to see more or have questions about how to do things, hit me up on, just leave me a message or hit me up on Steam. I'll be glad to ask, I'll be glad to answer anything because I've got most of it figured out. Now, I am not an expert at this game. I'm pretty good at the researching and figuring that out and how to do it quickly. Because while you're playing, you can do one researches that cost only an hour, and that's usually common to common. And that's the thing. When you start researching common to say rare, it's going to take eight hours. Rare and rare, eight hours. Rare and epic are going to take six, um, 24 hours. Anything epic. Now then you're going to get into some that could take, like the legendaries, will take 48 hours. Which I've done that. And that's how I got Roger with the, uh, the only combo I have for Roger right now. Let me show it to you real quick because it's freaking hilarious. Come on, Roger. Leela. All right. So the only combo I have with Roger at the moment. Oh, I have two of them. I forgot about that. I've got the crack one. That one didn't take as long because it was a rare, a rare card. Oh my God, come down here. I kind of showed it to you a minute ago. Dang it, get up here, you son of a... Oh my God, are you... Roger, you're a whore. You can like go with everything. There it is. Chex Lemonex. This dude's awesome. You look at what he does normally, but then you look at this. He has less health. He has one more damage, but he's all about the damage because he gets pumped whenever you play combos. And that's considered a sport one. So you could actually do a lower, like a blue or rare version of this by using the sports on him. It's just not worth doing though. That's the thing. When you want to try to maximize the amount of time you're doing on research, that's the best way to do it. So, well, you guys need to let me know what you think. I'm enjoying this game. I'm having a blast playing it. And this is, I mean, like I said, I'm going to be doing these videos every once in a while on free games that I either find, you guys tell me about, or stuff where I get keys that are like pay to play like that. Because lately I've been getting a lot of pay to play keys. I mean, the game's free, but then you're buying like a starter pack. You're getting a free starter pack upgrade or two, you know, two tier, things like that. So, I do enjoy it. It's a fun game to play. It's a fun waste of time. So, you know what the drill is. If you like the video, make sure and hit a thumbs up. If you got more questions about this, leave a comment below and I'll be able to help you out best I can. If it's your first time stopping by, man, you need to hit subscribe. We do all sorts of fun games on here. This is not typically the type we do. However, we are big into survival and stuff like that. But I just thought doing doing videos on free games, we all need to know. We all have questions. I get People ask me all the time, "What is this game good? It's a free game. I've probably never played it. I'm starting to get into them now, and it, they're pretty fun. So, I've been Bloodstalker. This has been Animation Throwdown. The quest for cards, 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 cards. Good echo, echo, echo. Anyway, <laughs> till next time, peace out, y'all.